Hello once again and welcome back to the channel Hell Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you enjoyed what you've seen and if you want to continue seeing more. Coming up, Christian Wolf talks about his formidable team. Rowan Smith reflects on his grand final achievers. Joe Greenwood signs new Giants deal. And Johnny Lomax continues to be coy over at World Club Champs. And we do indeed start with the champions as Christian Wolf hailed an unprecedented fourth consecutive grand final triumph after St. Helens delivered their departing coach a victorious send-off at Old Trafford. Saints dominated Leeds Rhinos to seal the 24 points to 12 win and end an unrack on a remarkable de domestic era for Wolf, who will leave the club to take up a coaching opportunity in his native Australia. Wolf believes the nature of the Saints' success this season confirms their status as the best team since the inauguration of Super League and playoff era 25 years ago. In my mind, you can't compare eras in terms of squad strength of our players, but what you can do is compare results, and the evidence is there, no doubt, in my mind, that this is the best Super League team, the best team in the Super League era, Wolf said. I just, I'm just extremely proud. This is an outstanding group of men, and to win four in a row sometimes don't think it gets enough credit because people don't realize how hard it is it has to have the same hunger and drive to get you through the adversity that is every season tosses up and still put yourselves at the top of the table and give yourself an opportunity to reach an another grand final Wolf identified his side start to the second half as a crucial phrase of the game after the Rhinos had given themselves hope on the edge. Well, hope of edging themselves back into the match through Cruz Leeming's strike on the stroke of half time. But Saints immediate responded and it was capped by a superb individual performance. Wolf by Conrad Hurrell, who wrestled his way over the line and gave his side the momentum back in their favour. Quite often, a try before half time gives one team confidence and they go on and come from behind. But our first set in the second half was really set the tone of how we were going to get about them, said Wolf. I was really proud of Conrad today. I'm really happy that he scored a try that only a bloke like Conrad can score. He's such a powerful bloke and hard to so hard to stop when he gets over the line. Christian Wolf with the celebrations also acknowledged other players that were involved in the game and he took so much pride in talking about younger players, one of which being John Benison as the 19 year old took to the grand final debut in his stride confidently taking each ball with a glare of the old trafford floodlights and returning it with interest and to put the icing on the cake he nipped in for a 17th minute try when jack wells been dabbled a grubber kick for the former witness junior to chase in a similar fashion to what he scored in the semi-final for all Wolf's success on bringing home three consecutive Super League trophies as just as significant a legacy is the way that he's blooded young players to become established first team stars and getting ready for the future. On Benison, Wolf said John was just a bloke who started the year you would have seen playing just three or four games this season. He came to train with us last year as an academy player and everything he did looked a little bit awkward but everything sh he showed straight away was that he is going to be he's going to compete really hard he leads the conditioning and competes harder than any other player on the field you saw that again tonight he competes really hard he's honest and he plays with energy all those things we respect as a team he comes in and does that he is a guy i'm really proud of
In the middle of the park, uh, in the absence of Alex Wormsley, Jake Wingfield has been drafted into plat more minutes as an aggressive prop middle rather than a back row forward. It is a role that is done with a plan, but Wolf expects more to come from the 21 year old former Blackbrook Jr. Jake Wingfield has done a great job and come of age this year. He is a player for the future, and we probably haven't seen the skill set in him, Wolf said. He's a really skillful player. He's shown that at times, but it has he but it he has still got more to do. We have needed him to come out and play tough, not just tonight, but in other occasions. Wolf was then asked what's next for the club with him leaving the team and what he thinks could happen in the future. And is there a possibility of a five-time championship streak? With the way they're fighting, the way they work for each other, I have no doubt that they are going to give themselves the best chance of doing it again next year. We've been through a lot of adversity this year and I don't think it's been recognised about how the key players we've been without. We've kept overcoming adversity. When you're the champions, every team turns up every week wanting to play their best, particularly when we've won it for the past few seasons in a row. Our desire was on show again tonight, and it's the same last year, the year before that, and the year before that. It doesn't matter how many things are going wrong. If they show up every week, then they give themselves every chance. Do I think they can go and do it again? Yes. Leeds coach Rowan Smith admitted his team were well beaten, but said he would take pride in his side's extraordinary journey in the second half of the Super League season. When Smith took over in April, his side were flirting with relegation from the top flight, and the prospect of a place in the playoffs was a distant one. Smith said he couldn't be prouder of his staff and the players for all the way that they pulled together and done some great things. The way people have stuck together and galvanised is really commendable. There's worse places to be than here tonight, but at the same time, everybody's hurting because you're here to win it. Smith did allude to a series of minor errors that allowed Saints to seize the initiative via Matty Lee's early opener and it was one of the favourites never and it was one the favourites never looked like squandering. We were the second best team tonight added Smith. We weren't as cohesive as we wanted to be at times particularly for their first try when we had a poor moment and they scored. When the time is right we'll reflect on the journey. We will never go on a journey like that one again. Getting to know people whilst adversity is front and centre for a long for so long is the best way to get to know people. In the trenches you try to bring about change and flout expectation. There's no right words for some of those guys. They are all disappointed because we thought we could do it. But I've also been reminded that if you want to taste success and hold the trophy, you've got to be prepared to feel the feel ordinary in defeat. You've got to be prepared to risk to win big. And that's where we are today. The leads of Rhinos in these latter half of the season, well, since April, to be fair, has been one of the two big stories of the season when it comes to runs at the grand final. The other one was a team that I finished, well, I'd say that will finish near the bottom or get relegated. So for Red Devils. But for now, Leeds can take the time to lick the war wounds and come back stronger next season. We'll see what uh, Rowan Smith has got in play, as he's already brought in a few players for 2023.
Huddersfield Giants and Ian Watson and the recruitment side of the uh, team have continued with their readiness for 2023 by signing Joan Greenwood on a new deal. This new deal will see him stay at the club until the end of the 2025 season. The 29-year-old has made 48 appearances for the Giants since arriving in 2021, scoring twice. And the forward has been pivotal to uh, to the Giants side that reached the Fred uh, Challenge Cup final, their first one since 2009. And the first time that they've been in the playoffs since 2015. Greenwood has missed just two games in 2022 and appeared as an impact player from the bench. Huddersfield Giants head coach Sheen Watson said, Joe has been a tremendous signing for Huddersfield and has formed part of a core that has led the team and its culture in 2022. So we're delighted to extend his stay at the club. He's versatile and can play in the back or front row and is a proven winner adding to the experience within the squad. His attitude on both sides of the ball is pivotal asset to, for the team's play. He's made great strides in 2022 and one of our key performers. With his new contract in the bag, Joe Greenwood said, I'm over the moon with it, to be honest, with the season we've had last year. You can see where Giants are heading under the coaching staff and what up. But I'm really enjoying it. We're getting a load of recruits in with a vast amount of experience, so it's really good to be a part of it, and to be a part of the Giants for the next three years. Being successful comes down to the personnel with people who have that experience and bring through the young kids from Huddersfield as well. And with us getting into the playoffs and the cup final, it all adds to the squad experience. But what I've learned is that the players with the experience are the ones who stand up. And so the more we have in the group, the closer we will get. Greenwood has indeed tasted success at the highest level, as when he joined St. Helens back in 2012, where he joined the academy prior to this from uh, Saddleworth Rangers, he won the Super League Grand Final with St. Helens in 2014. He carried on playing for Saints and played 77 games and scored 26 tries for the club before a move down to Australia with the Gold Coast Titans, where he played 22 games and scored 4 tries. In 2018, he became one of the select few that have played with two clubs uh, in Super League and won two Super League Grand Finals, as he won in 2018 over Warrington at Old Trafford. But in 2020, he played for Leeds on loan as he signed for an eight-week contract. He then returned to Wigan Warriors and played in another Grand Final, this time the 8-4 loss to St. Helens at Hull MKM Stadium. He has also played for England during 2018 and also England Knights in 2020, uh, 2019. Before his move to Huddersfield last season, which saw him play in the Challenge Cup final at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Even though he's lost at finals, they have not been in their original locations, so he can say that he's 100% at Old Trafford and Wembley. So as we end this episode, there was news coming out of last night's Grand Final after the Harry Sunderland Trophy winner Johnny Lomax was being interviewed after the Grand Final where Saints won an unprecedented four on the trot. He has come out as a doubt for the England World Cup campaign later this autumn. The 32-year-old halfback has been carrying a bicep injury since this club's Super League win over Salford in April. If fully fit, Lomax will be expected to pull on the England shirt during the tournament under boss Sean Wayne. 
However, during the Postmaster Shin interviews, Lomax neither confirmed or denied his involvement in the England tournament. While the World Cup squads have been submitted by have to be submitted by September 24th, players who feature in the grand final have extra manoeuvrability to be included in the 24-man squad. I don't know the decision-wise what's going on or anything like that, Lomax told Love Rugby League. I'll speak to the medical team here at St. Helens. Everyone will have a review that might be involved in it in the next few days and we'll go from there for the meantime that won't be on my mind it will be celebrating an incredible achievement that we've just had england should be hoping that johnny lomax gets the all clear for the world cup as his improvement as a rounded player has come on leaps and bounds under justin Holbrook and Christian Wolves over the last four years. His kicking game in particular has been one of the best in the league. The real question is, if he is not able to make it, then who are the alternatives in England's thoughts for this World Cup? Is it Jake Connor? Is it Jack Wellsby? Is it... Well, the list can go on. But are they of the quality of... A Johnny Lomax? Just not sure. I'm not sure what would be the thinking gal of Sean Wayne after that, but I feel it would be a complete rewrite of the squad dynamic, especially with Alex Walmsley already missing out. If another key player drops out of the squad, it will be England to make a decision for what they're going to do. I think I might have a think about an alternative England squad without, say, the uh, Sam Tompkins, Johnny Lomax, Wormsley, Roby, the usual people that are involved, because it could be an interesting take. And then we can get you guys to tell me how far can England go with that squad? And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide, as well as clicking that notification bell for any updates or new videos that may be coming your way in the near future. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments section below of today's stories. There are four to go through, so any opinions will be very, very welcome. And tell me what your alternative England squad would be in the comment section below. Be interested to hear from you guys. They're missing the key a few key players from England, but would it be good enough to win the World Cup? I'm going to do one proviso with that. Make sure that they are eligible for England. Not that they've played for Great Britain before or anything like that. They have to have played for either England or are eligible for England. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Please remember to share, share, share this video worldwide. I will now end the episode by wishing you all the best yet again. So please stay safe. And I'll see you in the next episode.